Good day, Father Matt Williams here in a parked car. I hope you're doing well. I'll never forget the time when I went to spiritual direction. This is about 20 years ago. And I was talking to Father Noonan. God bless him. He's a wonderful spiritual director. I was talking to him about um, encountering multiple homeless people in downtown Boston and how, you know, the, just that struggle. You can't help everyone. What are you supposed to do? And I'll never forget what he said. He says, regardless of what you do, whether you're going to give them money and help them out or not, always acknowledge their dignity. Always acknowledge their dignity. Smile, make eye contact, acknowledge their dignity. If you have the money to give them, obviously, great, wonderful. If you don't, you still acknowledge it. Because I think sometimes our temptation is we look down, we look away, we don't make eye contact because we, we feel guilty, we feel bad, or we just don't want to deal with it, right? I mean, that's sometimes human nature, right? But he says, always acknowledge their dignity. Isn't that what Pope Francis is calling for us in this hour as he's challenging the church during this jubilee year of mercy and always throw it his whole pontificate, right? How are we caring for the least of our brothers and sisters among us? How are we caring for them? Are we acknowledging their dignity and meeting their human needs, right? In the gospel today, that great passage from Matthew 25, when Jesus comes again in glory and we appear before the judgment seat, right? And, and basically, in, in Matthew 25, we're going to be judged on how we took care of the least of our brothers and sisters. You know, that's, that's really one of the profound meditations of Matthew 25. You know, how are we caring for the sick, the suffering, the hospitalized, the stranger, the thirsty, the homeless, the hungry, the naked, etc. How are we caring for them, right? And what does Jesus say? As often as you did it for the least of your brothers and sisters, you did it for me. Jesus identifies himself with every person, but especially with the least of our brothers and sisters. So I really do believe that the challenge before us today from the scriptures, twofold challenge. Number one, what are we doing to care for the least of our brothers and sisters, number one. Number two, are we acknowledging the dignity of the human person, of the people before us? Are we acknowledging the dignity of the human people, human persons that God puts in our path? And are we treating them as if that was Jesus before us? Really hard, really challenging. Are we acknowledging Jesus before those people as God? that those people that God puts in our path. Are we seeing Christ and are we acknowledging their dignity? Wonderful challenge the scripture gives us today. Wonderful challenge our Holy Father gives us. What are we doing for the least of our brothers and sisters? Are we acknowledging the presence of Jesus Christ in the person, as Mother Teresa said, the distressing disguise of the poor, of the people who come before us? So let's pray for the grace today that we can treat every person as if that's Jesus in front of us and with the dignity that they deserve. God bless you.